Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It is November the 1st, 2019. It's opening day from Aqueduct, and I'm going to look at the feature ninth race. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And also join me uh, today from my Breeders' Cup Friday preview video, and also Saturday's video should be live very soon. But it's opening day from Aqueduct, and uh, you, like I always say, your fair weather fan goes to um, Saratoga. Your, you know, your casual fan goes to Belmont, and your nitty gritty, you know, your working class fans and uh, your degenerates basically go to Aqueduct. And uh, you know, I really like this meeting, so uh, you know, class that puts me in. But um, you know, since they put in the second turf course at Aqueduct, this meeting has gotten a lot better, and um, except last year when they had all that rain here in New York, but um, hopefully we don't get all that rain, um, and, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good meeting. I'm, I'm looking forward to the, this uh, the next few months here at Aqueduct, and hopefully uh, with the Belmont construction, maybe they'll be here a little bit longer. Um, I, I like Belmont, but, you know, racing on a mile-and-a-half track sometimes, and uh, the turf courses, it's a little quirky at times. I like the mile-and-eighth uh, circumference better, but... Um, with that being said, um, with the weather report, uh, right now it's uh, Thursday uh, evening, early evening, and uh, the rain's going to come a little bit later. Uh, we're going to get some nice storms here in New York, and, uh, you know, we're going to get a softer turf course to track. You know, by late in the card, I think it could dry up to about a muddier good, but you're going to see some moisture here. Um, we had a lot of rain uh, Wednesday into Thursday, so it's uh, it's been a rainy week, week here in New York City. But um, with that being said, let's get to the ninth race from Aqueduct. Part of that pay mandatory pick six payout. Remember, every Everything's a mandatory payout because Belmont canceled on Sunday. But um, ninth race, it is the Tempted Stakes. Look prep race for the Demoiselle coming up on uh, Scar Mile Day. But it's Tempted going for a purse $150,000. Race for two year old fillies. We have six horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,600 meters or the mile trip on the main track. 1,600 meters, one mile here. The top selection. I'm going to go to the number one horse, Vast. I'm going to go 1354 in the Superfecto. 1354 Super. Top selection, one horse, Vast. This two year old fleet by Leah, or Leah here. Uh, Bill Montrange, Joe Bravo gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 22nd of September at Monmouth. Six frongs in the Hollywood Wildcat Stakes. And the horse won by two and three quarter lengths. You know, he stalked early on a little bit wide, but then he got the lead, and then he just took off clear. It was a very good run there. Um, he was facing lesser competition, but he got the job done. Before then, the Bolton Landing at Saratoga, five and a half frongs, August 14th. He finished fourth by seven lengths behind Kamari and Afsang, who's uh, both those horses I believe are running today in the Breeders' Cup. I know Kamari is. Um, but, uh, you know, this horse just had a very troubled trip and just really couldn't keep up there. It just wasn't the day to win. And then Saratoga, five and a half, main special weight, 90,000. The horse went by half length. He was off and on the lead all throughout. He had a little bit, uh, you know, a little erratic in the stretch towards the six, three sixteenths. But other than that, he took off clear at the end. It was a very good run. He's been training well. Um, you know, he should get the mile trip. At 6.20, if there's going to be an upsetter, I, I think it could be him. And a horse you definitely want to use on the pick six. I also think that the, you can't throw out the favorite, the three horse power. Power move. Three, two are flipped by more than ready. Um, Shook McGee, he trains this one for the fifth stables. Jose Lascano gets them out. Horses only started once, but that was a very impressive race at Belmont on the 6th of October. Six for Ongs in the main special weight for 75 grand. The horse went by length there, and he um, was drawn well in a very tough group of horses. Um, he sat back early, had a great turn of foot, and, you know, he, he earned himself a 74 bye, which is very good for his debut there. And, uh, you know, it was an all around good race. Since the race, he's been training very, very well. And uh, another horse going to the Mile trip should suit him well. Eight to five, use him also. Um, but um, to recap my selections now for the ninth from Aqueduct, it's the Tempted Stakes. Let's take the one horse Vast. Well, she used a three horse power move. We'll go one, three, five, four in the Superfecto. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck. Every